Welcome to Team YPWW, Lesson 10. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is Sisters BFF. Our lesson text is coming out of Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 8 to 11, Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister have let me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 8 through 11. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging, as every man hath received the gift. Even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Our memory verse for today's lesson is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. It says, And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sin. That's the King James Version. The New International Version is, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. The key for today's lesson is, God desires us to nurture family relationships when possible. Today's focus, sister to sister, best friends forever. Sibling relationships and rivalries are always hot topics in the news. Families from all walks of life take great pride in the success of their children. Good parents work hard to ensure that all of the needs of their children are met. It is also the desire of most parents that their children be friends for the rest of their lives as they mature and become adults. Acceptance trust and unconditional love between sisters and brothers yield some of the most rewarding experiences. In John chapter 13 verses 34 and through 36, Jesus declares, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have loved one to another. This passage encourage, encourages us to have unconditional love for our biological family, as well as for those who are of the household of faith. Yes, we realize that it is difficult to love unkind people. There are some biological sisters and brothers who do not want to be friends for various reasons. Nonetheless, this lesson focuses on being friendly to make friends, according to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. 
In today's lesson, we will discuss the sisterhood of Mary and Martha. They were indeed BFFs, best friends forever. The Bible also describes them as friends of Jesus. Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 42 clearly defines the personalities of these two sisters. Martha's major concern was with household duties. She obviously was a wonderful hostess because she prepared a gathering for Jesus and friends of their family. Mary's personality is seen as the laid back and scholarly type. Rather than help Martha with the dinner, Mary chose to sit at the feet of Jesus to hear him teach the word of God. They are sisters with different personalities who have made two different choices. Martha complains to Jesus about Mary not assisting her to prepare the dinner. Jesus replies ever so gently, advising her not to be angry with Mary for the choice that she has made. She had chosen the best part of the gathering, and that is learning more about God. Jesus then advises Martha about her proclivity of being distracted and worrying too much. Our memory verse describes the resounding backdrop of this lesson and the love to one another shown by these siblings. It is important to note that Martha, Mary, and Lazarus are adults. These siblings grew up together as children and now they have made the choice to still be friends as adults. They know each other's strengths, weaknesses, likes, dislikes, and modes of operations. Yet they have decided to live together despite their differences. They made the choice to cover each other's faults with love. Jesus also knows each of the personalities of this adult sibling group. John chapter 11 verse 5 says, Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. In this lesson, Jesus models for us how to continue loving our friends despite our personality differences. Team spirit is encouraged on many school campuses around the world. At various times during the year, the question will be raised, how can we improve our team spirit and student morale? Sports teams, bands, academic clubs, cheerleading squads, parent clubs, and administrative staffs will develop answers to this question that are specific to their campuses. Leaders know the importance of teamwork to get tasks done more efficiently. The popular acronym TEAM, T stands for together, E stands for everybody, and A stands, stands for accomplishes, and M stands for more. This acronym cleverly shows this powerful truth. In our lesson this week, Mary and Martha model this fundamental success strategy. They do not argue about their differences. Martha takes her concern about her sister to Jesus first. This is what we should do with all of our concerns about our family members. Jesus does not close down Martha's dinner and he does not ask Mar Mary to assist Martha with cooking. The sisters hear the directives of Jesus and move forward. He knows that they are sisters, friends, and BFFs. He applauds their friendship, which has matured as timely, which has matured as they have grown older. Mary and Martha were courageous women who demonstrate for the body of Christ the importance of studying the scriptures, showing hospitality and loving God. They were committed followers of Jesus who learned to trust him in every situation. Our lesson for today. We'll close with this last scripture. Hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. And that's Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. The questions for today's lesson, and you can write down your answers and search the scriptures on your own. Question one, what are the gifts 
talents and natural proclivities that you and your family members have. Question two, what is a character or personality trait that you desire your friends to have? And question three, conflict resolution is a huge business industry. Corporations pay thousands of dollars for experts in this field to come to their companies and help them in this area. Research some practical strategies of how to minimize conflicts. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.